So we just covered Roy Moore's insane comments uh, regarding race. Not surprising that a good old boy from Alabama has some uh, draconian and primitive views on that subject. Uh, but now we go to draconian and primitive views on a different subject. Here he is in 1997, talking about the issue of evolution. Scientists who study evolution come up with some of the oddest things, don't they? <laughs> they tell us we evolved, but they can't explain how mammals, reptiles, birds, all evolved into male and female. They tell us we evolved from something that crawled out of the water, but they have no evidence of that. You know, it reminds me of a story I heard about a scientist who had a frog, and he was going to find out how far the frog would jump, so he put the frog on a platform and he hollered at it. Boo! And that frog just jumped a good ways. He got the frog back and he taped up one of its legs. He put it down and said, boo! The frog jumped, but not quite as far. So he taped the other leg up. And again, the frog jumped after he hollered at it. And finally, he said, well, I'm going to tape up the back legs. And he taped up one back leg and still, one back leg, and still that frog jumped. So he taped all four legs up. And he put that frog down on the platform and he hollered, boo! Well, guess what? The frog didn't move. So he hollered again, louder, and the frog didn't move. So finally he writes down on his notes, tape up all four legs of frog and it goes deaf. Well, I'm going to tell you, that's the kind of logic they've used in our society today when we have, we have kids driving by shooting each other that they don't even know each other. They're acting like animals because we've taught them they come from animals. He just argued drive-by shooting happened, drive-by shootings happened because of evolution. Is it possible to catch a disease from such a shitty point? Because if so, I think I just contracted a disease. I have like, there's a few brain cells that I have that just committed suicide because of what, what they just had to digest right there. You, you teach kids that come from animals, they're gonna act like animals. Yeah, you know, there's such a high incidence of crime among the scientific community. Experts on evolution, you know, biologists and whatnot. So, so many drive-by shootings in that community. Remember that video of, of Richard Dawkins holding the gun sideways like, What now, you punk bitch? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is so stupid. No, but this goes... If you think this is like, ah, uh, it's just one dude and that's just a shitty point that one dude made. No. What's that guy's name? Matt Bevin, I think it is. I think he's the governor of... I don't remember. Kentucky? Oh, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Matt Bevin is a governor. Can no, not Kansas. Somewhere in the country. And he said, oh, the crime rate spiked. So what we... Come on, we gotta address this quickly. Quick, let's have a prayer group. No, he, he's serious. Let's all get together and pray to try to lower the crime rate. This is the same kind of shit that he's talking about here. You got people doing drive-by shootings, acting like animals, because you taught them they come from animals. I'm sure. That's right. So, there, you know, there's some sort of drive-by shooting because of a, 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 pre, a drug deal that had gone wrong a week before. And as they're going by, they're like, I can't believe I came, I came from some amphibious character. In the water. I'm really mad about that. So now I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, Roy, that's how it goes down. That's exactly how it goes down. Uh, by the way, everything he said there that scientists don't have evidence for, they have evidence for. <laughs> 
Imagine my shock that he incorrectly stated, scientists can't explain how we came from that. Yes, they can. There is evidence for that. A hundred percent there's evidence for that. Oh, God. And I love how he's accusing scientists of using flippant logic, like that little anecdote he told. But you're the one that uses flippant logic. There's the same guy who turns around and goes, well, how can we come from monkeys if monkeys still exist? And then he accuses scientists of, hey, fucking, you guys use shitty logic. You use shitty logic. By the way, he is a literal creationist. So he's a, he's a fundamentalist. So he looks at the story in Adam and Eve, of Adam and Eve, the world being created 6,000 years ago. There's a guy and a girl and a fucking garden and a talking snake. And he goes, that is, that nailed it. That's true. So all of the evidence, you know, for example, dinosaurs existing 65 million years ago. How much evidence is there for dinosaurs existing? A lot. How do we know it's 65 million years ago? Because we have dating methods. You know, all these different, we have various different forms. I think there's over a dozen different ways. Like radiocarbon dating, for example. We can figure out when these fossils and stuff are from. All of that evidence, he's like, no, there was no world 65 million years ago. It was created 6,000 years ago. Everything was created 6,000 years ago. And there's a bunch of naked people and a fucking talking snake. And then obviously the story of, of Noah's Ark is true. The world flooded and there's a guy who lived to the age of 900 who got every animal on a boat and he managed to get the mosquitoes to fuck each other to create other mosquitoes and he managed to get polar bears who live in a cold climate to somehow survive on this ark without any kind of system of air conditioning or whatever and you also have the fucking tigers who live in a hot climate they're in the same area and by the way don't worry the animals didn't eat each other because something and, I mean, <laughs> and those fucking scientists tell us evolution is real. How flippant and poor is their logic? Everything you just said has poor logic. Uh, uh. These are the kinds of people who work backwards from their conclusion. That's what this is. So, in a, Bible's true. Mama and daddy done told me Bible's true. And we're the good people, the Christians. So I just want you to know everything the evil scientists say is some bullshit. Because they use bad logic. Now let me tell you a story about a frog getting his legs taped up. I just own the libs. And I own the scientist. No, you own yourself. <laughs> you sound like a fucking dumbass because you are a fucking dumbass. And he might be a senator in a short amount of time.